My name is Tristan Jones, and I'm a Rock Mechanics Research Engineer for LKAB, and I am the Ground Control Work Package Leader within the SIMS project. We're trying to make a one-step bolting process, and that's a little bit different than the current bolting methods. Um, typically, the way rock bolting is done is that you have a drill, and the drill drills a hole in the rock, and then you take the drill out, and then you put a bolt in, into the drill, and then the drill puts a bolt into the hole, and then that hole is filled with concrete. Um, we're trying to minimize that process. We're trying to take out some of the steps, trying to uh, automate it a little bit more in order to remove some of the people from the equation, help get rid of some of the opportunities for people to get hurt, uh, because one of, the, one of the largest ways that people get hurt in underground mines is simply by doing manual work with their hands and they clamp their fingers between two pieces of metal or you know just typical accidents that you have when working with tools uh, and, and so by automating the bolting process making this a one-step bolt uh, we hope to get rid of a lot of that system in order to anchor the bolts compared to the other cement or grout bolters that we have in operation currently. One of the biggest changes is that instead of having a drill steel which drills the hole and then also a bolt which is put in after the hole is emptied, in this case we've changed it so that the bolt itself acts as the drill steel. Every single bolt has its own drill bit on the end of the bolt. It's used to drill the hole, and then it's held in place while the machine switches tools and couples up with a resin injection system. The two parts of the resin are brought from the back of the machine through hoses to the front of the machine. They are mixed in a mixer at the, right before the resin is injected into the bolt, and then that resin actually goes out from the end of the drill bit and encapsulates the entire bolt from its deepest point. And that's how it actually anchors instead of being placed in a cement-filled hole. 